In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. In mind, Joel can't control where the movies begin or end Because he used those special parts to make his robot friends Robot, Robot, Cabot, Cabot. Gypsy, Tom Servo, Crow If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts then repeat to yourself, it's just the show I should really just relax For a mystery science theater 3000 30 seconds to commercial sign Hey everybody, welcome to the experiment. Commercial sign in 15 seconds. We're playing hide and seek with the elusive and inexplicable forces which control the universe. We're still safe because the cosmic universe has its eyes closed and it's counting to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Oh, oh. I wanted to play hopscotch with the impenetrable mystery of existence, but he stepped in a wormhole and had to go in early. Commercial sign in five, four, three, two. Commercial sign now. I'll be right back. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. Ready or not, here we exist. Oh look, the cosmic universe isn't even trying to hide. Rats. Oh, and the feckless Ubermunces are flexing their zeitgeist again. Huh? The scientist barking down my snorkel. Oh. Okay, this is how it goes down. There's the chorus, and then you come in after the bridge. Legato. <laughs> Can you dig it? Okay, and then I start swinging like it ain't nobody's business. And th that is if my chops are in shape. <laughs> you know, chops. Forget it. Joel, what can I do for you? What are you talking about? You called us! Oh, that's right. I called you. Uh, I think you're supposed to do the invention exchange. Uh, okay, this is my invention exchange. It's called the radio arm saw. And uh, it's based on the premise that carpenters for the longest time would have apprentices that would uh, study under them and do some of the more mundane work. And now a lot of young people go right into the fast food industry. So none of the carpenters can afford them except for maybe Bob Vila. But what this has is, is a um, uh, circular saw that I bolted onto a remote control car. All right, and you can pan it back now, Cambot, and we'll show this. And what we got here is a board, okay? I rev up the, I rev up the um, car. Okay, there it's going. It's kind of loud now, so uh, just try to pay attention anyway. And it drives right across like that, and it saws the board right in two. What's so great about that? It's based on the premise that the further you are away from the saw, the better off you're going to be. Oh, huh? Oh, come on, shake it off, Joel. You're okay. It could happen to anybody. You okay, Joel? Yeah, no, it's all hot and it hurts and stuff. Oh. Well, that doesn't look OSHA inspected or anything. But anyway, right now, Dr. Forrester is going to jam on our new invention, right, sir? That's right. Thank you, Frank. Now, earlier today, Joel, I removed my own head and fused it to the bell of this baritone sax. When Frank blows into the mouthpiece, I wail. That's right. Uh, I press the valve down here. The music goes round and round, whoa, and it comes out here. Yes, I call this little invention Dr. Sachs. Uh, now I'd like to play for you some of my favorite John Coltrane charts. 
Hit it, Frank. An evil supreme, an evil supreme, an evil supreme. Well, what do you think? <coughs> <coughs> you may have just crossed that line. I have never seen anything so hideous, so immoral, so atonal. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, I've got to clean out a spit valve. Thank you, Frank. Well, Joel, your movie this week is preceded by a little piece of tripe that's very close to my own heart, called The Phantom Creeps, and it stars our old friend Bella Lugosi as a lovable but fractured mad scientist. Bad print, bad sound, bad for you. Deal with a joyless prol. Oh, we got movie time! Goodness, it's creeping. It's really creeping. Oh, it looks like a ding dong with legs. Ford BB. Ford BB. Ford BB. Sheila McRae. I'm coming. Glad everybody. That's how I looked like before my shave. Now let's meet the cast. That's my roommate Steve. He's always on the phone and always, always in the bathroom. Cindy, she's not half bad if you know what I mean. Kinda looks like Madonna. Then it's Johnny and Ray. Johnny's the talkative one. Ray looks like Madonna. There's Pete and repeat, always sticking their patooies where they don't belong either. Those were just my friends. Let's meet the cast. I forget who did what here. I say, shoot the picture. Let God sort it out. Oh, the menacing power, that would be uh, Con Edison. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. Maybe I shaved them too close. The ultimate test of the Helsinki formula. <laughs> hey, I just invented the post it note. Wasn't he one of the Smith brothers? Yeah, uh, either Trader Mark, I'm not sure. No, to put him in my stock pot. I knew him, Horatio. Stop, stop. You're not going to let that thing out again, are you? Suddenly, there's work to be done of it. Might get away like it did last time. You dare mock me? I created it. I'm the god. I'm I the god. I can control it or destroy it as I can you. You whom I helped escape from prison. I control it most quickly. I'm gonna give him such a pinch. Ooh. Boy, is he in a bad mood. What's behind the panel, Johnny? See what good it is. The cops will never let anything like that walk down the street. Shut up, he just plays tapes. What could the police or anybody do against an army like them? Well, they could give him a plastic hassle, man, that's what. Hello, Ben. I'm Milton, your brand new son. Oh, what's the big deal? It's a big metal Richard Keel. Hey. Uh, Gomer Powell reporting for duty, Sergeant Carter. She's I am. How much would you pay for an all-purpose monster like this? Wait, there's more! The control, we could crush all opposition and make me the most uh. powerful man in the world. Hey, watch it! Hey, uh, nice speech, but he's trashing a place. Uh, he's programmed to do Norm Abrams' job. <laughs> Fix his in a jiffy. Wait till I get him on the straightaway. Ah, uh, Domino's. There's a car outside. That will be my wife. She wants She's to got an away. extra job. She's afraid of what I'm doing here, yet she knows only a small part of it. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> no, Let me go in and talk to him alone, oh. Dr. Mallory. He's been angry with you ever since you refused to continue to work with him. Thanks for the exposition. He was working along lines contrary to the good of mankind. I know. Hey, who doesn't? Give him a break. Yeah. I hope I can stop him before it's too late. I hate to have you face him alone. Dressed like that. Serious. I think he really cares for me. As much as he can care for anyone. Except himself. Oh, talk about vicious backstabbing. You're not gonna tell her about the new element you discovered, are you? You mean oh, upsy daisy -um? 
I have accomplished what they told me was impossible. A funny Gallagher Get routine? Get me one of the magnetized discs. But if you're determined to face him alone, I'll wait in there. In a soundproof booth. But won't your wife think that I think? She knows nothing of our love. No, don't do oh, that. Dear. You scared the pants off you, me. You're glad to see me. Sure, yeah. as long as the lights are out. Okay, now beat it. I've been wanting a witness to my grave crime. Hmm. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. I told Mallory and the others there was a way to induce a state of suspended animation that couldn't be told from death. That uh, I will find. Play a Kenny G they album? Me a dream or a fool, but now I have it. And you shall see and tell them. Uh, you've really gone over the edge this time, Prof. Oh, I love what you've done with the place. Now, what goes on in here? You see this disc? This what? is this. Oh, I've seen this one. Now, three we've never met before, have we? Good. What's here? Sea monkeys? Sea monkeys? Is that what it is? Oh, looks like sea monkeys. This is an outrage. Ish. It will not come to you. Even spiders it have only taste. to that disc which I have put there by the plan. That disc there is magnetized by a positive ray with my new element which is unknown to science. Mm -hmm. And this little spider carries the mm -hmm. negative. Mm -hmm. The two me... Ah, can the balloon juice, Prof, and get on with the parlor trick. Do that snappy pattern. Shopper always leaves you laughing. Ha 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 ha. I can see the string. Whoa! That's my new opening. What do you think? No, Great, you just no, invented stop no, animation. No, that rear the air on the phone. Under same circumstances. It's too bad that Mallory is not here to see my trial. Oh, oh, you. I have oh. it. Ha. You, Faced. you were spying. Call it that if you wish, Alex. But you made no secret of it. Now my fear is, what are you going to do with it? I'll put I it in your shorts, you little stinker. Not hand it over to the government, as you would have me. I still think do. that would be best. It should be under control for the good of mankind. You would still receive credit for its discovery. You and just won't be able to do it in any club. But possibly never will I let it go. Already a foreign government had offered me millions. Perhaps thousands. I shall sell to them. Don't you realize what a terrific weapon it would be in the hands of unscrupulous people? Comedy club owners? That is why they shall pay me dearly for it. Alex, you must not. Then it is my duty to inform the government at once. Alex, oh, what a look please. I'll give you! God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and... All right. If it is your duty, do so by all means. But you will find it a great mistake. What do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> you shall soon learn. The power of, of the Dark One. I'm sorry, but he just can't Man. help being creepy. Your prescription's Monk. ready, sir. Monk! Oh. Get the divisionizer. Who? Did you carry out my instructions regarding the work to be done on this? Yes, sir. It's an I electronic dance item, but I was afraid hmm. to use it. I'm not afraid. Chaim? <laughs> what, Chaim? They know everything that I have. But they know uh, I think it goes under the suit. That will conceal me from my enemies. I'll stay here tonight. Perhaps I can see him again. If he'll have me, the big canoe. I'm waiting from his mad course. And I'll get in touch with the government. I've already talked with Captain West of the War Department about Alex. And I'll give the they names of my colleagues to Senator McCarthy. No, Anne, they'll just keep him and what he has found under control so that he can't misuse it or dispose of it to a country that would. Oh, oh, oh. I never should have filled up on that four alarm chili. Oh, excuse me. Burn the file on the electric dance belt and pick up my manhood. It's under the chair. You have failed, monk. What do you mean? I rode straight no chaser around midnight. That's a good thing. But I will not fail. I cannot. I'll call if I need you. And I'll good go night, call Ed. Roy Cohn. Good night. It's nice. Works real. Oh, that's no dance belt. Say, that's a pretty good Patrick Swayze.
It is perfect, Master Shadow. But can you come back? Surely. I must come back. Then I'll go to Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Think you could steal me some candy bars or something someday? Now, That'd be really cool. The Phantom, there is nothing that I cannot do. If I had you... Just put some lace on this dance belt. Now will our mystery guest sign in, please? Oh, he gets all the neat toys. Now, if you guys don't mind, I got a Michelin man reading in an hour. Nobody can find our secret workshop without the Iron Man helping. I am Iron Man. Oh, it is concealed so cleverly. Nobody will ever find it. Unless they're from the Student Loan Association. Look at all the pizzas that guy can hold. I'll uh, just let myself out. While the cat's away, the mice will play. Oh, I love what you've done with the place. I know I get compliments always. Thank you. Uh, I, sorry I didn't have everything packed. Look, set that down anywhere. Can I get you a beer? Uh, now, turn your head and clank. Wow, this guy really knows how to get the most out of what limited space he's got. I know. He should be in better dungeons and gardens. My private stock, Glenfiddich, 30 years old. It's just what his sinus is needed. He's just blowing off a little steam there. Quick, get Vix on the phone. I've just they invented the vaporizer. The source of all my power. From what you say, Dr. Zucker has discovered something very important. I'm sure he has. Highly dangerous, too. Seal me up? D7? Smackmaster? Have you uh, made any search for it? No, we thought we'd better wait till you got here. Who are you, anyway? I'm in his laboratory. Aren't you going to take that disc? I'll, uh, I'll get it later. I'd hate to have one of those spiders find it in my pocket. Fools! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. Let them search. What's he looking at? They will find nothing. We'll just break right in here. I really like what they've done in here with the pastels and the uh, accoutrements. Yeah. Yes. A lot of equipment seems to have been moved. Hmm. You can talk to Rankin of Aspiring, I will be with you, but hmm? unseen. Oh? Next I'll show you how to make a bass snagger. Husband smokes a popular brand. Colombian. <laughs> he can't stand tobacco. Well, how about his assistant? He, he can't can. stand smoking He's his right. assistant as either. No, Zorga worked alone. Okay, now you be the chauffeur, I'll, I'll be, be the contessa. We can play that game again. <laughs> We must be more careful than ever that no one discovers the entrance of our secret garage. Yeah, right, uh, right, right, or whatever. Yeah, just get in there. Get into this little crawl space, you lard butt. Jeez, what a pain. Oh, brother. Well, I'll phone headquarters and have his description broadcast. He'll be picked up somewhere, that is, if he still answers his own description. I just love informing on people. All clear? Yes, sir. Then we will go to meet the agent of Aspiring. Aspiring to what? When last seen, he wore striped trousers, dark foreign hand tie, and cutaway coat. And a light so blue Warner bra. Mm. But it would take one to carry mm. the things that are missing from the Hey, it's Gr Gladys Kravitz. Yes, that's right. Put this on the cell type right away. Let's see there. Be 
pick up that man. What do you mean? Give him a ride? No, yes. ask him out. What do you think he I mean? Used to. He might be useful to me. He's just my type. A, B, negative. Hey, are you guys okay. going to that dead concert? Yeah, did you hear Pigpen died? Pigpen is dead? Oh! If, if Pigpen died, I don't want to live either. What a long, strange trip it's been. Hey, that's a rental. It's on my card. I'm dead now. Don't hitchhike. Please. Don't hitchhike. How fortunate. That simplifies everything. To you. Get Miss Daisy out of there. You make it seem that it is the famous Dr. Zorko who has been killed. Ah. The old switcheroo. Good. Then we will get another car, go home, and see what they are doing there. Then you'll be happy? I don't think so. West speaking. Uh, just trying to do what's right, and you? Right, I've got it. We'll fly right down there. Been a car found, wrecked and burned on Highway 10, 50 mm, miles north. Nah, just the thing Body. we're looking for. Contents of the pockets indicated to Dr. Zorka. Hi, I'm Speedy, the alka seltzer. Ha ha. Can you go with us? You're asking it's Cuckoo the, the Bird Girl. Such a shock. I'll go. I must know. If Pigpen's what? still alive. Warm up the plane with you, Jim. Whenever you're ready, Mrs. Zorka. Put that lampshade on your head, tie femur bones around your waist, and dance naked in the moonlight! <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I sure hope they have those little salty sweet peanuts on this flight. Hmm. Ah. Good thing they still have a broom closet on this plane. Taking my wife to identify the body we left at the car. She will know it is not mine. What the who? She is one of my discs and she does not know it. I have just time enough to put that spider into her play. Am I wacky or what? She will go into suspended animation so that she cannot identify the dead man. Then I will take her from them and revive her. Only to put now her back to sleep again. You have to be there as soon as the plane arrives. I like this so much, I bought the company. It shouldn't take long. I'll check the lab equipment and try to figure out just what's missing. Bye. 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 So, Bye. 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 so Bill, ever flown one of these shuttles before? Uh-oh, raid! There's something the matter with that door. I'm sure I shut it. Hmm. Doesn't look to me as if you're dead. Wiener. Whoa! Whoa! This wasn't in my bag when I left the house. Hmm. You know, if you bite one of those, it'll spark in the dark. The one the spider went to. Are you certain it wasn't in your bag before? Positive. Now, you're sure you're not a klepto? I haven't seen one of those things yet. Yeah, bro. Jim, I want to send it back to the apartment. Are you sure you didn't find it and take it as sort of a keepsake? Why, of course I didn't. Tell me, from where the car was found, have you any idea where Dr. Zorka was going? None whatever. Well, the pilot's bombed. I'm the automatic pilot. Oh, Captain Spaulding. Charlie Sheen, Navy Seals. I think we're gonna have to get out of here soon. Uh oh. Hey, Bumble's Bolts. Oh, 
subscribe and welcome to Bella's OK Discoveries. My name's Joel. A product that can allow you to make anything at all explode? We'll see it on today's show. Then we'll be showing you how to make your neighbor's house turn into instant rubble. But that's in the second segment. Now introduce my guests, Tom Servo and Crow. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good day to you, Joe. Now, what we have here, can we pan over here and get a little look at these? Down here, it's called a phantom creep. Now, it's been in use for Great Britain for years, but not a lot of people in the States know anything about it. Looks like kind of a spider. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, now, let's take a look at this shirt here that we prepared ahead of time. It's been smeared with axle grease, a little blood, some chocolate, and a little polychlorinated biphenyl. Oh, I know, Cambot, and I wouldn't want that to happen to us. Okay, so what we want you to do is attach one of those little discs there that you have in your hand. This disc? That's it? I love it. Okay, how much would you pay? Oh, uh, we're not there yet. Okay, so we attach the disc to the shirt, and we bring in our little phantom creep. Now, there it goes. Can you Can see? Can you see? There, there it goes, goes right in there, and... Ah. I love it! <laughs> that's amazing, isn't it? Okay, it's now quickly, great. Joel, 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 uh -huh. now Maybe. grab that satellite dish there. Uh -huh. Grab the dish, there, there you go, you see what he's doing? Right. He's this is over. amazing, he's the dish. people, yes. it's absolutely okay. amazing. Now, now watch. Take the dish, now okay. uh, rub some black dirt into it, just some ordinary black dirt. Oh, you can take it right off the shirt there. No, no, this is, yeah, absolutely. I can't, this is the sa This is my satellite, oh, come on, you guys. it'll be fine, it's okay, I promise. But it's right off the satellite of love, okay. It's okay. Just like, come on, just like that. Now everyone knows the side facing the sun takes a real beating. I mean, it's 4,000 degrees out there. The other side, no sun over there. What happens when I stand over here? Um, you're out of the sun? That's right, it's ice cold over here. We take a little disc, take one of those put discs. it right in the center, oh, wait, and Here it comes. Watch, watch. you see? Ah! Isn't that amazing, huh? That's fantastic. Okay, I love it. My heart says yes, but my heart says how much? Okay, now Joel, if you were to sneak into a mad scientist's lair and try to buy all this, well, it would cost you well into the millions, wouldn't it? That's right, Servo, right. The genetic engineering alone would run hundreds of thousands of dollars, not to mention the arachno-pyrotechnics. All right, you know me, I'm a hard sell. Come on, let's make a deal. Make it better. Okay, now I'm glad you asked us for that. We're going to sweeten the deal a little bit for you here. Now, we're going to throw in the napalm spider. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's this right here, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, yep. is that jelly gasoline? Oh, it's not just jelly gasoline, Joel, but a highly effective anti-personnel device. Mm hmm I see. Okay, but what's the deal? They're like three spiders. Well, we've got the napalm spider, the defoliant spider, and mint. All right. But can't you make it just a little bit better? Come on, everybody. Come on, Joe. Joe, we're all right. businessmen. All right, all right. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Since you're a friend of ours, we're going to throw in... Well, we'll grab that tray down there, will you? There he is. Yes, oh. my arms are unoperative, so I can't He's grab grabbing it. the tray. There we go. Okay, this okay, right here, this, is this what we're talking about? This that right on looks the, like a really big spider. Oh, that's oh. the granddaddy of all explosive spiders, Joe. This one can take out a whole city block. Now, where's that disc, Crow? Well, Servo, the amazing thing is I've slipped that lightweight disc into Joel's pocket. <laughs> and he's lucky it really is comfortable. I'll take it. <laughs> I like this phantom creep bit. Reagan's deregulation of television really pays off. If you've got your charge card out, I'd like to get the uh, Snack Master thing. Well, as you know, Joel, the torture never stops around here. That's what you get from hanging out with guys like us. One more bad film. No, 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 no. Don't pass out on me now. Go ahead, put in the tape, Frank. Taste my steel, pasty boy. Uh, after this. Armida, is that Spanish? Spanish Armida? Look, oh, smoky whitefish. Sounds delicious. Hmm, Fred Colby, the cheese magnet. Mm. Rarty Rubles. Zach Williams is Sammy. And Chief Zabu. Norman Cerf, the best editor to come out of the agrarian feudal collective system. Hmm, I'll have a Carl Burger. Original song, There's No One in My Heart But Me. This is By Dr. Place. Christian Barnard. Hmm, Joe Pago based on a pasta dish. Joe Pagano was based on an idea by William Stevens? Mm. 
That's Rum Collins, smarter brother. Hmm. Mars, extending us a welcome. <laughs> you look a Shriner. Uh I don't remember the name, but the Fez is familiar. <laughs> so anyway, I'm flying one of those new flying carpets they got, and it's great. Enjoy the only exterior shot. <laughs> Portuguese Joes. <laughs> They've got the wet grass skirt night. Enjoy the Fintuzler and keep the cup. Uh, down our party of three, please. That summer night, I tend to pass you by. Mm -hmm. I smiled at you. We smiled at you. We all smiled, we all smiled, smiled at, at each other. We smiled. Ba -boom. You know that piano player's not bad. And the girl. I'll probably get her, you know? <laughs> Dig it. You possess me so completely. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Are you our waitress? Uh, I'd like to order whatever's on the wall over there. There's no one in my Hey. Table dance, Whoa. everybody! Hey. Table Whoa. dance! Whoa. Yeah. In your uh, she must be enforcing the two-drink minimum. So I'd guess. I'd like our check. Don't want to, but I do. So we gotta stop bringing our business lunches here. There's no oh, let me put my eye in. in. What? Uh, what is that you say? What? I can't hear you. Mm. Oh. Uh, do you think I could get a table in the no singing section? Is that possible? So I was seeing the Brutusks the other day. So <coughs> <coughs> which Navy is he in? Uh, I think he's a cab driver. Oh. I'll burn your lips with his Burn your lips? Saigon. I'm still in Saigon. My heart Freebird! Freebird! Whipping balls! Whipping balls! Three hours last night. I did not tell you I would be there. It's a really long Your song. Your eyes said you would. Ah, oh, but my lips did not. My dress said maybe, but my patella gave did. a resounding yes. You're sweet but dangerous, Mr. Simpson. Good, then I'm making progress. Hmm. And incidentally, Yvonne, let's stop being so formal. The name is Bob. When I stop being formal, then it will be dangerous for you. Oh. <laughs> Check, please. <clears throat> I'll give you five minutes. For what? To start running. <laughs> Have another drink. Oh, our uh, boyfriend's here. I think you have company. And his hat is more authentic. Say, did you take my uh, red underwear with the big S on it? In here. Do you realize we're supposed to take off in 20 minutes? Easy, son, easy. Have a drink. We haven't got time. We, we don't, don't fly for Northwest. Got We've got all the time in the world. Oh, I hate when he says that. Take a look at that. Hmm, look here. Two more pilots arrested. Hmm, famous tennis star becomes woman. Hmm. Become legally ordained minister. Will of Peter Vanderhorn, multimillionaire diamond tycoon, was probated yesterday. Hmm, sounds Provided painful. Provided for a reward of 5,000 pounds sterling for the discovery of his daughter Greta dead or alive. She was returning home by plane from an American finishing school the first day of World oh, War II. No, no, II. no, when you read it, do all the, the voices. Last communication from the navigator placed the plane somewhere over the Zambezi territory. No word of the plane or any of the passengers has ever been received. Reading my horoscope. Well, so what? Oh, Our business darn. is flying private passengers. And I don't want to remind you, son, but two of them are waiting for us right now. So what? Right now, we're out of business. Ow! Ow. 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 Look, Mike, sit down. I am sitting. There's 5,000 pounds reward there, which is about $20,000 for anyone who finds Greta Vanderhorn. And she doesn't have to be alive. Hmm. You are wacky. That well, plane I'm was lost. I'm nutty. I'm J.C. Fickelhofer. And lost can be found. If that were so, the plane would have been found a long time ago. But they weren't able to send out search planes while the war was on. Now the restrictions have been lifted, every broken down flyer on the African coast will be taking off to look for the wreckage of that plane. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get there first. Who said anything about getting there at all? He I did. did. I did. Yeah, yeah. I heard. I hate to remind you, son. 
But you're only the junior partner in this concern. I know, Dad. I happen to own three quarters of that crate, remember? Oh, just as if you'd ever let me forget it. Man, come on, Mike. Time is of the essence. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just like your old ballet teacher used to tell you. Oh, Let's go I deserve We've that. We've got to good one. on some extra tanks of gas. I think a little trip in the jungle will do you good. Oh, I went before we got here. Uh, he's with me. Excuse us. There's a man on the wing of the plane! Uh, what's a five-letter word for rum and diet Pepsi? We should hit Zambezi territory by morning. Says you. Is that your hand? Hmm. I think we just flew through a dissolve. These viewmasters really bring nature to life. Look at that. That's irrelevant. Hey, I see us up there. Okay, Boy Scout. How much longer do you intend to spend on your good deed? Uh, I was in the ballet division. If we collect the reward, if we collect it. You but mean those cookies? It's going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack to coin a phrase. Is that yours? Go on and coin one. It will make you feel any better. Nothing's gonna make me feel any better until we're out of this. Come on, Bob. Let's go. Ah, come clean with me, Frank. Tell me you haven't had the Keep urge going. to ram this baby into the ground. Hey, a petting zoo. Now we're at the Dells. Mike. Hmm? Mike, I think I see something. Here, take a look. Hmm. Yeah, that's neat. Hey, pop in another slide for me, will yeah, you? Jim? Could be. Well, let's go down and see. Okay. Hey, turn back. We're over Nebraska. Did ancient astronauts land here millions of years ago? Bill, not a crash landing. No! Whoa! Oh, zebra. Oh, they had to land. The rubber bands unwound. <laughs> You go ahead, Bob. You're the Boy Scout. Ballet division. Look, a tiger. What, in Africa? Shh. Hey, don't step in the Macumba. Huh? Nice ensembles for a couple of guys who can't remember to gas up. Now, how do you run this? How far away did you say the wreckage is? Oh, uh, that's kind of personal. North by northeast, right? That was a good movie. Keep your eyes peeled, Bob. Remember, we're not in the Rue de la Paix. I'll go one better. I'll take them clean out of my sockets if you like. <laughs> Hello, kitty cat. Breath mint? Springtime, and a young man's fancies lightly turn to thoughts of elephants. Hi, I'm Satan. Enjoy the film. You're wondering how we can dominate this, aren't you, Mike? Pretty nosy, kitty cat. Hmm. It looks like they all just got out of the shower. Yeah, and they're on a snipe hunt. Who's got the bag? Same set at least. They're all springtime fresh though. <laughs> They're on a collision course with a whole lot of trouble. Now I can't find your ball anywhere. What are you playing? A uh, Schlesinger 5? I think this hole breaks to the left. Yeah. Wait a minute, Bob. Uh, I hope that's an acceptable greeting. Oops. Oh, sorry. Sorry, everyone. Now, please, let's not bicker over who shot who. The important thing is that we realize we made a mistake. Hmm. Good rifling. Feels good in hand. This'll be killing good killings. Carbine? Nice action. 
You can't make me, you can't make me. Hey, it's Ginger and Mary Ann. Montegreta, beautiful. Montegreta hair, very beautiful. That's nice. Mama, hey, look, stop kissing up with me, okay? Last night? Uh, dog oh, ate yes, it. yes, yes. Good. And let me hear you spell, uh, beautiful. Let me hear beautiful. you spell patronize. Beautiful. Will this be on the final? Ah, yes. S beautiful. L. B. A. E. B. A. E. U. R. Y. T. Huh? I. F. U. L. Okay, now spell anti disestablishment area. Uh, think. Think. Stink. Stink. Think. Stink. Think. What is this, a Dr. Seuss book? Think. What's going on here? More beautiful. Word of all. <laughs> You're like my best friend of all. Thanks for playing. Sam, where's Quincy? Uh, could you spell that, please? Uh, second word. Is it a film? Sounds like a uh, play. How do you like that? I don't. Hmm? Doma. Look, uh, don't tell them that we're white. I didn't say Simon Says. Okay, Simon Says. Mr. Vanderhorn, I presume. Oh, you funny. You are not speak until you have been spoken to. Hey, what is this? We know who you are. You may have these natives buffalo, Silence. but... Ooh. Or perhaps you yeah. wish me to turn you over to my subjects. What, spelling? French? Did you hear that, Frank? Mike? Social hmm. subjects. Shut up, Bob. You've got us enough of the jam as it is. You gotta. What'd you call me? I, I'm I'm first what native. Happened, White devil, kill solo. Fracture Make speech. Fire from long stick. Those Big articles. Noise. Solo dead. Uh, sorry, wrong wrong scene. Uh, excuse me. Pardon me. I'll just step. You in. shot Zulo. Oh well, we didn't actually get his name. How was I to know? He came bouncing out of the jungle with that spear, and I. But I don't get this. We came here to find you. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Big one. Certainly it was a mistake when you killed Zulu without justification. Neither mm. he nor any of the others would have harmed you. They would have treated you like gods, which they thought you were. <laughs> but I still don't get it. What do you care what happened to that native? I care very oh. much. Oh, I would suggest that you be silent. The penalty for murder is the same here as anywhere else. You're a plea bargain to Death. a suspended sentence. Uh, not yet. Uh, two more pages. Yeah, just... Uh, step Mesa back. Uh, maybe you wouldn't mind telling me exactly what goes on around here. Well, we have activities, uh, craft making, uh, we make wallets. Uh, Tuesday's the, the fish fry. Or guilt of you and your friend. And uh, now. Now. Yeah, now it's your turn. Okay, let it out, man. Yep. Sing, baby. Yeah. Morty Dante, appearing this week. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Tropicana extends a warm Las Vegas welcome to Mr. Gene Krupa! Go, Gene, go. Go, go Gene, go. Go, go Gene, go. Go. Mata Ruzla! I now pronounce you man and, uh, man. Huh? My people have reached a verdict. You're to be extradited. Since you had no part in the murder of Zulo, and in fact, tried to prevent further violence. You'll be deep fried. You'll be permitted to return to your plane safely. That's nice. When? As soon as your friend's sentence has been carried out. What do you mean, my sentence? It is the will of my people that you be executed on the first full moon, hmm. which will be eight nights from tonight. Oh, that sounds fair. But, huh? But you can't. Yes. Bob. Your sentence Look, has been Bob, we'll appeal. Just to be sure that you do not attempt to escape, you will both remain guarded. Uh, Until the we're execution. already pretty guarded. Baru. Matabaru. Yeah, yeah, Matabaru. Okay, yep, get on with it. Yep. Boy, she really put the boot to you back there, Bob. I suppose Don't we got a tip. Away. I hate cops. Had to get the hanging, Judge. Well, I've been in better jails in my life. That's nothing well, to brag you've about. Got it over Bob. me. First one I was ever in. And from the looks of things, it's liable to be the last. Yeah, well, what are you hmm. worried about? Then I'm going to execute you. I'm the one that got the death sentence. 
How do you like that Greta giving You're us the right. business? I feel great. The team's gone native. Don't squawk to me, Bob. Surround! Your own idea, remember, coming out here to look for? We're doing all right ferrying private passengers until you decided that there are easier ways to make a living. Boy, do I wish I was in Portuguese Joe's bar right now. Maybe they got Where a microbrewery around. around. Tall, cold ones. Yeah, well, maybe we will yet. Put that away. All right, all right. I'm not going to use it unless I have to. It's a lighter. I also managed to hang on to our hand compass. Oh, good. Good. You're not going to let me down, are you, Mike? Don't worry. We've got eight days to figure a way out of this. We're in this together, and we'll get out of it together. But I'm the one that shot that lady, and I'm the one they're going to execute. Relax, will you? Like I said, we're in this together. Just kidding. Uh, Quincy, want you to, come. uh, Monta never mind. Greta wants to talk with you. No, you. Hmm. Here, have this. I gotta go with Henry Silver Give my here. love to Monta Greta. Hey, you got yeah, a yeah, smart mouth. We gotta split. Monta me. Yeah. White got, got it. it. Whoa. White goddess. Hey, Joel, well, so what's the deal with those magic binocular things we've been seeing? Oh, that's an old cinematic device that uh, filmmakers of old used to use to kind of teach the viewer that they were looking through binoculars, even though if you really look through binoculars, it looks just like a movie screen. Yeah. And uh, so then they just run totally unrelated stock footage of animals, right? And, and not even at the same altitude. Yeah. Or creatures not even indigenous to the area? Yeah, right. In fact, uh, Kamba came uh, all set up with uh, such uh, things. They're called gobos, if you want to mm -hmm. see them. Gobos or, or matte box effects for film. Okay, you want to okay. try it? Oh, so we'll just sit here and act as the brunt of your little visual joke? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Something like that. Okay, this one is called the binocular. Huh. Hey, Still. get us. We're a piece of stock footage. <laughs> all right, and this one is the keyhole scope. You know, you're the only man for me, Servo. Oh, All right, crow. this is the oh. <coughs> high-powered scope scope. And so the French Prime Minister shall receive the quad that... Look out! Look out! Oh, okay. This is the periscope scope. I don't care how you do it, you must sink the Bismarck. And also the driving Miss Daisy scope. We might as well be walking and driving this slow, Miss Daisy. Just watch where you're going. Okay, this here is the... Uh, Microscope. Uh, go ahead, Crow. You can imitate a one-celled animal better than I can. It's starting to look a bit more uh, like the Sammy Davis Jr. scope. Oh, okay, yeah. this the is man. the Lucy scope. Ah, uh, Ricky. Uh, Turns out I was never funny. Okay, uh. the small intestine scope. Ooh, I feel so funky. I need Ew. soothing and coating. <laughs> That's really feel like. This is the. Uh, Jose Feliciano scope there. Uh, huh? Chico, don't get discouraged. All right, <laughs> this is the family circus scope. Okay, who broke my vase? Not me. <laughs> okay, followed by the Jack O'Lantern scope. Huh? The uh, glaucoma scope. What? And if you want to get really fancy, you add the family circus scope with the glaucoma scope and get the Hubble scope. Okay, uh -huh. there's that, all right. Followed by the Pope scope, what? Huh? What? the Scopes Monkey Trial scope, otherwise what? known as Inherit the Window Rama, uh -huh. the ever popular Nope scope, oh, oh brother, like come that. on, and finally Movie Sign O scope. Oh, movie sign! Oh, well, that binocular thing's pretty they good. Wait. That's really yes. cool. Okay. Yeah. Can't about had something like that. Come here. Spread out, Sambu. Three's a crown. Sit down. All right, can I order right away? I'm really famished. Coast is clear. Did my father send you to find me? Well, not exactly, Miss Vanderhorn. What do you mean, not exactly? Your father's dead. <laughs> and my mom? Oops. When did he die? Not quite a month ago. My partner shot him, too. Well, I guess you can throw that away. Oh, it just came with the frame. Queer-looking old duck. 
He never lived to find out what happened to him. Hmm. Exactly what did happen. Okay, here goes. I was paging through the dailies and I see an opening for a jungle goddess. At Hastings on the Hudson. Meanwhile, at stately Wayne Manor, Miss Harcourt's school for girls. It was Chicks Sunday morning, on beds. September the 1st, 1939. I was listening to the radio with my roommate, Helen Phillips. In general, the world picture remains the same, although the threat of war is... She had a really deep voice. One moment, voice. please, ladies and gentlemen. I've just been handed a teletype. Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain has just addressed Parliament, and I quote his exact words. Quote, Help! I have the honor to inform you that unless the German government suspends all aggressive actions against Poland, not later than 11 a.m. British summer time, September 3rd, his Majesty's government will, without hesitation, fulfill its obligations to Poland. Unquote. Well, that's good, Helen. Now try opening with a joke. What are you doing that for, Greta? I don't want to hear anymore. Those morning you zoo guys just great on me. So what? This is the United States, remember? Who cares what's going on in Europe? <laughs> I'm rich with oh, no I'm political sorry, Greta. standing. I forgot your Dutch. Oh, that's all right. I'll have to see Miss Harcourt. What are you going to do? I'm going to take the first plane home if I can make reservations. But why? You're safe here. That's beside the point. I don't want to be stuck here for the duration. And if the war breaks, well, maybe I'll be a nurse. My first aid course might come in handy. Oh, it sounds like Sometimes a lot of kooky fun. We'll put on a show, and once the what V2 turns in into Poland? guava jelly, I'll still be Johannesburg. alive. Hmm. Johannesburg is in a British dominion. And if war breaks, well, I, I want to be with my father. Avril Harriman? It's Adolf Maju. Yeah, I think so. Boris Karloff? After considerable red tape, I was able I to catch a plane from Lisbon, raids over central which Europe. was the most direct route to South Africa. It was not easy to make arrangements to continue my journey. It's a mobile home. brought a great deal of confusion. Filled with plane lazy boys. Were scared. However, I was finally successful and was able to board another plane for Johannesburg. At last, I was on my way to join my father. We're on In our order to way! Reach it was necessary to fly over the dense African jungle. And do a lot I of voiceover really work. I was engaged in a conversation with a very lovely woman. That I didn't like. Of course, they will be called up. John and Herbert both. Uh huh. Seems so strange. Uh -huh. Their father was killed in the last war. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Now put a sack it's in it, will you, Granny? Oh, when you've lived as long as I have, child, you'll find it never pays to worry. I used to worry terribly about everything. Little things and big things. Orange things and paisley things. Yeah. What on earth is the matter with you? Uh, we'll all be there. Yeah, sure. Hey, my skull's starting to hurt. Could you clam up? Hey, what is this? The airplane of Dr. Caligari? Bizarre. Uh, Captain and I are out of drinks. We have just received word over the wireless that His Majesty's government has declared war on Germany. Now, so it's happy hour until plan. we land. Woo -hoo -hoo. We shall make every attempt to reach Johannesburg as per schedule. That ought to hold them. Well, it's come. May the Lord have mercy on us all. Well, I think he does, except for you. Stop! She's, she's got to go. She's got to go. Look out! I think you'll all want to join. It's a dance of death, death. It's a dance of death. I figured on seeing Betty and the kids for Christmas. What about your wife? I wonder how long it'll be now. Mm -hmm. At least I can send him a picture of his dad in an RAF uniform. Instead of that darn dress. Meanwhile, in yet another plane. Uh oh. Oh, uh, when you stop for fuel, did you? Huh? Oh, we're in trouble. How's the model doing? Not too good. Uh, when you were in flight school, did they teach you how to scream? So, you want to tell them or should I? She's dropping fast. I better go warn the passengers to fasten their safety belt. Yeah, like that's going to help. Airport 42. Uh, Steve, uh, never mind. I got it. Oh, kind of my fault. Sorry. Sorry.
Big drag. By some miracle, I was the only survivor. By night. some plot contrivance. When I came to, it was morning. I didn't know where I was or how I was going to get help. Thanks to my host, and I still looked my fabulous. Started wandering through the jungle to try and get back to civilization. I found that travel really broadens you. I met neat people like Ratty McDowell, and you know, it's really true what they say. Oh, that monkey gave me such a chill. Well, you know what I think this forest needs is a woman's touch. There I was, surrounded by salad fixings for miles and no mandarin orange vinaigrette in sight. Hey Toots, it's me, Satan. Catch you later, you know? Suddenly, there I was, in front of a rear projection screen. You know how I hate those. I screamed, and that seemed to help our relationship. Oh, what a bad time to break a heel. Oh, <laughs> Daddy. Then, I came upon a sanitary landfill. I knew civilization must be near. It wasn't long after I started mm. through the jungle that I was confronted by a group of natives. I was really frightened then. Uh, you I can't didn't know tell from this shot, but I when was. Suddenly they started to kneel in an attitude of worship. I didn't know why, but I felt safer. So, mustering my courage... I began kicking them repeatedly. Take me to a village. Huh? What the... Did you get that? Take me to a village. Hmm. She thinks we speak English. Don't hey, sister, Lara. don't give me any crap. You me, take me. Take you. Your village. Oh, village. you want us to take you to uh, your to our village? Oh, I understand. Uh, ah. Rumor mm, the I'm perplexed but charmed by this plucky stranger. We eat tonight. Oopsie daisy. What's going on? Somebody drop a contact? Here, let me help you. Uh, you really caught us at a bad time. All of our uh, suits are out at the cleaners, and uh, it gets kind of randy around here when all the women are away, you understand. Well, here's the first problem. She's covered with fur. Give me a razor. I saw Wanama. She was a very sick girl. And only then did I realize that they wanted me to help her. I stared at her. That seemed to help. Does this story have a point? When recovered, the natives were sure that I was a goddess. When Chief Mbenga died, Ulanga the witch doctor tried to poison the natives against me. But he wasn't successful. Well, do they still believe that you're a goddess? Oh, that's they another flashback. They I was deceiving them. Ulanga the witch doctor would make short work of me. Aha, hmm. uh -huh. I'm beginning to get all this now. Good. But why did you have Bob sentenced to death? You don't think I intended to carry that sentence out, do you? We oh, did. I was, I was counting on it. Time. Smart girl. You little I sort of mates. that you were just putting on an act. <laughs> I had to do it. If the natives thought otherwise, we'd all be dead. Well, that gives us just seven days to get out of here. You're plain. Is it all right? Oh, it's terrific. Yeah, it's a little clearing about a mile from where your plane crashed. Yeah, it must be the accident zone. Obey my every command, no matter how strange it might seem. Oh, wow. I have to do the same thing. I'll find a way for the three of us to escape. Though, uh, I'm not so sure your friend deserves it. I don't like him. Oh, Bob's all right. A little trigger happy, perhaps, but he's all right. I don't like him. Oh, Bob's all right. A little trigger happy. What is that? Must be the late show. Uh, would it be crass of me to say the natives are restless? Oh, well, that's cute. 
The Langa's working the natives up into a frenzy. What's the snake for? Nastasia Kensky. The Langa's pet executioner. You mean he... It's a very torturous death. The poison works very slowly and horribly. Kind of sounds like the plot of this movie. <laughs> Tommy Toon and Merce Cunningham. We don't want to arouse any suspicion. Speak for yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. There's so much I want to talk to you about. Yep. Everything that's happened in the last six years. Well, it must have taken a great deal of courage to stick this out for six years. Hmm. Good night, White Goddess. Good night. And don't worry. Nagata! Uh, is the courtesy van ready? Nagata, take this man back. But remember, no harm must come to either of them. We must fulfill the law. Yes, Montegrata. Kill him. Kill him. I can't believe he went for it. Chum. Now, Calgon, take me away. They say, it's never a rock video until they burn something. Catchy too, isn't it? Hey, that snake probably had it. What's going on out there? Seems like the witch doctor's having a little party. Uh, am I invited? Some party. The dance of death. Well, could you turn? Tell him to turn the bass down. I can't sleep. That was incredible. I come no, on, was I, I dreaming, or was there a dance of death going on last night? I like the color of my eyes better. Sure, must like something. What do you mean by that crack? How do I know you two aren't cooking up something together? Oh, you know I can't cook. Meaning what? Meaning there's 5,000 pounds reward for little Monte Greta. If yes, you two get out of here alone, you won't have to split the reward with me. Hey, you know, good idea. Like that ought to crush a skull. Ah, it's been crushed. I'm sorry, Mike, I'm sorry. This place has given me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, and I Remember, thought they Remember, they're going to kill me if I don't get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I know how you feel. But like I said, we'll get out of this together. Oh, good, my clams casino. Uh, charge it to the room. You come eat with her now. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, that's my day. I'll see you later. So long, sucker. Peace for you. Yeah. How about you and I cooking up something ourselves? Good looking. Hey, there's an Inuit pole out here. Different strokes, you know. Hello. 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 Tell me, where are all your subjects headed for? They're going out after wild antelope. They leave early so that they can be back before dark. Hmm. They don't like the jungle at night. Oh. But I do. Oh, won't you sit down? Well, thank you, white goddess. Well, thank you, time white since racist. Anyone called me Greta. All right, Greta. Hey, buttermilk biscuits. Well, how does it look? Cheap one. Oh. Well, tell me what it is first. Oh. <sighs> it isn't what you might think. I assure you that the natives here are not cannibals. The Scottish call it haggis. Well, that's relief. Did you cook it yourself? Goddesses don't cook. What I wouldn't give for a hamburger and some nice French fried potatoes. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. You went to school in the States, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Sorry. You're an American, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I'm from Colorado. Speaking of hamburgers, I could go for one myself. You see, I haven't been home in three years. Greta, do you mind if we start right in? I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Hey, you're in luck. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Don't worry. Here they call it zebra. It's oh, not only edible, but uh, quite delicious. Hmm. All right, if you say so. Hmm. Dark and white meat. <laughs> Very tasty. <sighs> oh. oh, white devil on fire. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, uh, white not devil yet. just having not a can. You're not hey. from around here, are you? You speak pretty good English. Oh, sure. Monte sure. Greta teach you me everything. You got money, Chiajo? Me very smart. Did Monte Greta tell you that, too? Oh, sure. <laughs> she no tell me what, uh, what smart means. Uh, means you're stacked. You tell one, Ama. Well, it, uh, uh, means sort of like, uh... Oh, it's just different, that's all. Dumb. Dumb. <laughs> very beautiful. Dumb. Thought you'd like it. Now get out of here. Now. You still here? Why everybody say you white devil? Because I kill indiscriminately. You're very, very nice. 
Get me. Sentenced to death and I'm still making time. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. Don't nobody move. It's hard to believe that the war lasted so long. It had been for the atomic bomb and tell me, Greta, didn't you ever try to get out of here? I used to dream my way out at night. Well, we'd take the magic back, trolley the and click my so, heels together. I used to dream about home every night. And after that? Oh, I gave up dreaming. It was hopeless to try and penetrate the jungle. Mm -hmm. I used to have the natives take me out on what you might call hunting expeditions, but they led nowhere. Then I just had a Maybe hamburger and some French fried hard, potatoes. I know. And my only hold on them depends on their belief that I'm a goddess. And so, Leona Hemsley's empire was built. Plans. If we're to get out of here alive, you must tell Bob not to make any false moves. Like killing He's people? You've got to be patient until tomorrow morning. Are you sure you can trust Wanama? Wanama would do anything for me. Wanama's phenomena. I can trust to lead us out of the jungle. Bob has a hand compass. And some that French fried potatoes? Too, in case anything goes wrong. I uh, think you'd better leave now. You always say something like that just when I'm beginning to enjoy myself. Then I gotta wait a few minutes before I can leave. Well, that's life. Hey, what is this? Hmm? Where'd you get this? Well, Nama made it for me. Hmm. Yeah. World's greatest Ooh. grandma. Ooh. Hey, where did Wanama get the stuff she carved this from? On the outskirts of the village. Why? Why? Wanama's working through you know a lot of pain, is? isn't she? Oh, I guess you don't. I saw something just like this in Colorado. Well, what is it? Unless I'm crazy, it's carnitite. Of course, that wouldn't mean anything to you either. Carnitite is stuff that they use in the manufacture of atomic energy. Saps all your power well, if you're a visitor from a foreign planet. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Look, Bob knows a lot about this kind of thing. Do you mind if I show it to him? Well, not if you want to. Yeah, he can take target practice if it on is it. carnitite, we'll organize our own expedition and come back for it. Provided we get out of here alive, Mike. Wah, 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 wah. Hmm, tastes like Grandpa. It's carnitite, all right. You sure? I'd stake my life on it. That's already in the kitty, Bob. Mean? I don't know what it means to you, but personally, I've had my eye on a ranch in Colorado ever since I was a kid. Hmm. Right. Oh, yeah, like I care. Nagara's still on guard. Our best chance is to make a break for it just before dawn. Well, wait a minute. Greta's worked out a plan for us. Hey, when did you Greta? start calling her She's Greta? The way. She told me to call her goddess. Enough getting through that jungle without being slowed down by a dame. Well, if we get through, and I doubt very much if we can, will Langer be a sense to blame her? Have you ever stopped to think what those knees might do to her? So oh, what? yeah. That's her lookout. She's the white goddess. She can figure her way out of this. Suppose they kill her. We don't have to bring her back alive to collect the reward. And besides, that's peanuts alongside what we'll collect on this. Hey, your Please horns are showing, Bob. Taking us back to Greta. Bob, I'm going to be kind to you. I'm going to put Just you to sleep. The spot you're on has twisted your mind. Nobody can be that much of a heel. But I can. I can. Really, yeah, I can. Sure. Don't go away. I can, really. Look how heel like he is. Why are they looking at me? Get that camera off of me. I'm a heel. We'll be back right after this. I'm still a heel. Such a heel. I appreciate the fact that I can't leave this hole, but is there any reason why I can't have some water? Water? If it isn't too much trouble. Wanama. Bring white devil water. Ota. Yeah, bring a lot of it. And don't forget the ice. Ice? Skip it. Skip it? Wanama, bring it inside. Inside? Oh, blazes out here. Blazes? I've arranged to send all the natives out on a hunting expedition early tomorrow morning. That will enable us to travel by daylight. What about Nagara? You'll have to tie him up. But I don't want him hurt, understand? You mean you don't trust him? Oh, I don't dare. After all, he is a Zambezi. These natives are very peculiar and childlike. They There's don't even no shoot things they don't understand. Yet, if he knew what we were up to. Well, then what makes you think you can trust Wanama? Oh, I know I can. After all, she's been my constant companion for six years. Tell me, Wanama, you know the jungle pretty well, don't you? Oh, I get around. Oh, sure. Are you really an Need astronaut? <laughs> I guess you are at that. Did you ever wonder where Monta Greta came from? Uh, she's a temp, the right? Greta. Is that what she told you? Oh, no. But me, no. Everybody, no. You love Monta Greta very much, don't you? Oh, sure. Everybody loves Monte Greta. 
Mm-hmm. Then you'd want to help her if she needed you, wouldn't you? Help, Mom, Come Greta. on, get to the point. Something Cut to the chase. To it will if we don't help her. Okay, what about the rifles? I, uh, I had to have them destroyed. The natives thought they were weapons of evil. <laughs> They're kind of yeah, cookie and silly that way. <laughs> yes. The jungle's infested with wild animals. Oh, uh, so am I. Well, if we should get in the spot, you can always exert your powers, white goddess. Oh, that's rich. Kill him. Mike, do you think you can get Bob's revolver away from him? I don't trust him. No, he'd never give it up. <sighs> then we'll just have to take our chances. Now, don't worry, Greg. Yeah, I'm the man of steel. Bob, Stop bullets the whole nine yards. You know, it would serve him right if we'd turn him over to the tender mercies of Ulanga the witch doctor. Here, here, we couldn't do that. Let me just patronize you a bit. You know, Mike, I think you're absolutely right. He's undoubtedly become unbalanced by all that's happened. Yeah, he's not thinking that's as clearly as when he shot that guy. Very closely. Relax, goddess. Relax. <sighs> What's the matter, Winona? Yeah, kitten, why the long face? Me want to talk Monte Greta alone. That's all right. You may speak. He's our friend. He friend white devil too. Please, Mona Greta. Juanama want to speak with you alone. What's Perfect. the matter, Juanama? No. I have a feeling this concerns the both of us. Hmm. What happened, Juanama? Were you with white devil? Well, should I get out the anatomically correct doll? Are you to tell me what happened? No. Please. Mm -hmm. Me want to talk Monte Greta alone. Monte Greta wants you to speak now. Just get get on with it, please. White devil want me take him through jungle. Alone? He say that way we help Monte Greta. By Wanoma, no believe. You didn't mm. tell him you were coming here, That's did you? Oh, no. Wanoma, Wanoma dumb. Wanoma dumb. Do, 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 do. Get that gun away from Bob. Be careful, Mike. <laughs> so, did you do it? Monte Greta. Monte Greta love him. Isn't there a magazine <laughs> devoted to this? Oh. I'll take that, Bob. Are you Daffy? No, I'm Porky. You're Daffy, remember? So. We're pulling out tomorrow morning. And Greta and I both decided that it would be better if I packed the artillery on this little safari. Yeah, yeah. see? Oh, you I and Greta decided, did you? Well, you go on back to Greta and do some more deciding. Yeah, so my you. piece of iron, and I'm going to keep it. Yeah. Give me that. Nineteen forty-two. <laughs> Man of steel, huh? Phone this into Perry White. Now oh, I'm packing the rod. That's right. Get up! Get up! Oh, off of the table! Oh. Visitor from another planet. Hey! Oh, oh. oh. far beyond mortal man. Oh, oh say, oh, yeah. oh, you got a little on your chin there. Yeah, oh, I think you can. I know what it is. Oh. All this Pier 1 stuff collapses. Hey, look! Native collapsing furniture! Looks so real. Fight you. Sure Munta Greta! Barosimana! Munta Greta! Barosimana! Guano, hit fan! Ooh. Oh! I will kill you! I will kill him! Faster than a speeding. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. More powerful than a wimp. <laughs> this doesn't work. Oh, great. That's twice in the same week. You fool! I didn't mean you to just winged him. him. It was an accident. Oh, great. Now he's got a line. He's never going to like you now, Bill. Off to deliver more flowers. Nothing can stop Ulanga. He's going after the hunters. We'll have to start now without Wanama before Ulanga reaches the tribe. But you're not going to go without me. We shouldn't leave you here, but come on. Go to my place and wait. Uh, she's just got to pack a few things. Okay, Greta, come on. Come on, Junior, let's get off this picture. Besides, I want to get home and shoot holes in Gary. Oh, it's Monte just a through Greta. hole. Greta, give him a new it. heart sack. No. Yeah, yeah, it's bathe it in cool water, water, put a poultice on it. I got to beat cheeks. You take care of him, just as I've taught you. Monte Greta must leave now. They will take me back where I came from. Monte Greta no come back to Wanama? I don't know. You be a good girl, Wanama. And remember everything I've taught you. How to make the scene darker? I'll remember everything you've taught me. Yeah. I got a blow. See ya. Monte Greta. Nobody taught anybody to act. Mm. Skipper! Little buddy! Skipper! 
Hey Bob, there's a living thing. Why don't you swing in the high and kill it? <laughs> Skipper! Little buddy! Skipper! Hey Bill, when you were a kid and uh, you got pets, did you kill them? And hey, what did happen to your sister anyway? Oh no, no, I didn't say start the band. Hey, we eat tonight. Hey, you never saw that tree before. You want to kill it, Bob? Yeah, huh? We gotta get out. Why don't of we here. just we gotta get set out a whole torch, torch the whole continent, Bob? Would, Would you I like that, huh? I need guy. The tribe. We better hurry. What in the Sam Scratch is that noise? Huh. Sounds like a mosquito about the size of your head just got sucked in through the access ports. Oh, don't be absurd. A mosquito couldn't live in a vacuum. Hey, there's a ship coming into range. Hey, Cambot, give us uh, rocket number nine. Let's see what it looks like. Hey, that's no mosquito. The British stopped using those at the end of the war. Hey, look, something's coming in on the Hexfield view screen. Stop hey. that. Stop it. We're not sure if we don't understand them yet. Sorry, sorry. Hey, what do you guys want? We want to shoot you. Hey, stop that. Stop it. You can't shoot through a view screen. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me. Uh, hello. Greetings, insignificant life forms. Uh, we come bearing gifts, beads, Trinkets, uh, Coke bottles, accessories. And bullets. Uh, Joel, what the heck do they want? Actually, our, our needs are rather simple. I, uh, for a little, for a little list, uh, uh, all we need is, uh, ah, here it is, mineral rights. Women, property, scalps, food, clothing, it's the standard list. Uh, oh, and also we want the, uh, cute one's head. Ah, uh, that must be you, Joel. Yeah, definitely, Joel. Yeah. Hey, Kwai, you guys, we're talking to an alleged higher life form, whatever that means. That's us. If you could just pop that stuff over to our ship, we'd greatly appreciate it. Oh, I brought a little treat for you, too. Uh, the magic fire stick. Ooh. Also the ball in the cup trick. Uh, We've also brought uh, VD, smallpox, and uh, the Widowmaker. Stop that, you idiot. Now, Mr. Joe. Yeah? You are a white man with strange-looking slave types. Why haven't hey, you exploited hold. them yet? Or at least shot slave. them. Hey, listen, you two. These two slave types happen to be my friends, and I don't know where you two get off waltzing around geosynchronous orbit trying to throw your white male weight around. You got another thing coming. You're messing with the satellite of love. Yeah. yeah, I see. Did you enjoy the terrine? The radicchio was picked fresh. Killed him. Oh, brother. I hear you, man. Man, we gotta stop giving our address out. Yeah. You know that? Twisted my ankle. Oh, oh come on. Want. Now, let me get this straight. So. You survived well, in the jungle on, for six on, years, and now you're telling me you just right you sprained your entire ankle yeah, on a piece soul. of moss? Get real. Well, she threw a shoe. That means I'm going to have to shoot her. Yep. That's oh, Bob's department. That's all we need. That's all we need. Got any ideas? Oh, it's just my watch. It growls at the top of the hour. <laughs> Uh, Jerry, hey, would you hand me that Brannock device? Okay, now this is a nine, and I already have it in a ten. Snuggy, Snuggy! Oh, Whew. you better rest there for a few minutes more, Greta. A few minutes more. A few minutes, minutes more. more. Oh. It will be dark pretty soon, and we're a long ways from the plane. We're going just as fast as we can, and that's just as fast we're going to go. He's right, Mike. We've got to get going. Oh, oh shut, shut up! up. Man. I have to be all right. Well, then come on, let's go, come on. Okay, Galahad, get moving. Don't you ever call me Galahad again. Ever. Meanwhile, in an equally racist Tarzan movie across the way. Hey, you ho daddy, surf's up. Mm. Oh, cool leopard, I wonder if it's death. <laughs> 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 Good one, dude. Good one, dude. Leopards, man. Can we stop? 
sure. Just a minute. Hold it. I am. I haven't seen a porta potty in ten miles. There you go. Here, just sit on this conveniently placed stump. Right. May I have some water? Sure. White goddess having trouble? Now, listen, White fascist getting one smart? Wise crack too many, then you're not going to feel like making any more wise cracks. And if we keep stopping for her, we won't make any cracks wise or otherwise. Ooh, good you better one. Better go on without me, Mike. Are you serious? Yes. There's still a chance for you two. If you and the natives catch up with me, maybe I'll still have enough power to save myself. Hmm. Okay, bye. Why not do as she says, Mike? They won't harm her. She's the white goddess. She can bluff her way out of it. It's our only chance. Forget it. But how are you... I said forget it. Forgotten, sir. They haven't caught us so far. We'll just keep our fingers crossed. Atta girl. It'll be dark pretty soon. If we're going to get out of here alive, we'll have to use our heads. So if you've got any ideas, now's the time to spill them. Well, Up to I now, my do. ideas haven't carried much weight. So I'll leave it to you two masterminds. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, what do you I have that one coming. Well, there's only one thing we can do. We'll never make it through the jungle at night. We'll have to build a fire to keep the animals away and stay close to it until dawn. Are you crazy? That's all we need, a fire to go along with where we are. Yeah, yeah. The and the natives will be doing the same thing we're doing. Yeah, Turn that's what I was thinking, you know. How do you know they will? I know their superstitions and their fears. Yeah, I would. Hey, I'm talking here. Yeah. And dirt on handle was spear. Ooh. No, really. Ooh. I've seen it. Hey, where the hell is the MGM one? Gee, Minnie, I got a film to make. You think you got problems? I'm opening for Siegfried and Roy. I hate Mondays. Hey, wait for me. I got a cameo in this film. Wait up. You think uh, Mellencamp is a dumb name? Yeah. Really? So there on the handle was a hook. Ooh. No, oh, really. Get some sleep, Greta. I'm not tired. Are you kidding? You're so tired, you're about ready to come apart. <laughs> well, maybe I am. But I could sit up all night talking about home. Tell me oh. some more, Mike. Ooh, you are hungry. Everything since Pearl Harbor. What else would you like to do? I just love listening to their voices. What kind of hats are the women wearing? Hats? Uh -huh. Hats? Well, how would you ask me anything like that? How would I know anything about women's hats? I never look at their hats. Their underwear, yes. Anyway, are they cute? Greta, they're hats. You know, oh, don't pretend you haven't worn you any, Reeves. I can't tell you any more than that. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? What? Hats. They look all right on you. Hey, you guys. Why don't you get some sleep? Hmm. What are you talking about? Hats. 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 <sighs> Golly, it'll be good to get back to a good hot tub. <laughs> Maybe sooner than you think. Boom! What about you? You keep an eye on our boyfriend over there. He's your boyfriend. You're the one who invited the Vasa Engel. Hey, quit laughing back there. Uh, say, Bill, uh, don't look now. I think your kneecaps are on fire. You're my little rag dog. Leave a wake-up call. Well, I'm off. The jungle extending me a welcome. <laughs> He's really a good man, and tomorrow is another day. <sighs> well, I think I'll just burn this uh, drive-in bank canister here. Hmm. Smells good. So every time I eat a burger, an acre of this stuff disappears. I don't get it. I'm uh, ready again. Watch it, Pam. Look out, he's got a gun! Oh, oh sorry. Hey, pipe down. This is a smoking section. What the heck is going on here? Go away, they're asleep, and wake up, they're beating the cheese out of each other. Must be the heat. Yeah. Now I'll just take Savage these things and get out of here. 
Whoa, Mike, he really kicked your butt. Mike. That could have been a pay-per-view. Oh, no, that's oh, no Shouldn't have stopped for no. breakfast. No. You oh. had to order french fried yeah. potatoes. Oh, oh, my God. God. My fault. Mm. Mm. Where is he? He's gone. Oh. And the gun and... And the compass? They're gone, too. We'll never find the plane without that compass. I'll rub you on a rock and you'll magnetize. He went through those bushes. Oh, could you be well, a little more go. vague? Is it all right for me to say he took his pith helmet? Uh, yes, yeah, but not so. now. Crickets. I hear crickets. Big crickets. Oh. That. Don't forget the limp. Yeah. How's the ankle? Oh, all right. Good girl. Have Keep hobbling or I'll have to chew it off. You know, I'd really like to get a hold of that Gary Larson guy once and for all. Yeah. You ever get pieces of flesh caught in your teeth? Oh, I hate that. Mmm. Fresh tracks, and one of them is limping. Got a scat. Hey, wait for us. They wouldn't take our visa. Oh. oh, I forgot to wind my compass. Now I'm really going to be late. Jeez, I hope none of my friends see me with her. Hi, it's me again. Hope you're enjoying the show brought to you by our friends at Hunt West. If this is a first date, you don't mind if I don't call you again, do you? Oh, my ankle, it's all hot and that hurts and stuff. No, we've got to keep going. If he gets too far ahead, we'll never find him. I have a confession to make. We lost the trail four miles back. Look, Greta. Ah, oh, heck, that could be anybody's. Right That's great, Mike. What else can we do with it? Oh, we still in this film or what? Hey, that's him. Oh, no. Oh. Hey, where's Ted Bessel? Hmm? Hmm? Let's watch the fun. <laughs> oh, great. He killed a coconut. In cold milk. Yeah. Come on, honey. Why did you call me, Mike? I called you. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, <laughs> Bungle in the jungle. Near oh, coconut fall. What's going on? Mm. Oh, stop screaming. I didn't even hit you. Someone ought to spank that monkey. Here, Caucasian. Here, Caucasian. 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 Caucas
on our way. Oh, oh Queen. Well, somebody didn't replace their divots. And they're in this movie. We made it. There's the plane. And it's just landing. Hmm. Must get off set. Got us droppings. Working overtime. Those two just don't get along with each other, do they? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh, bingo! My first kill feels good. All white people evil. Let's get out of here, Scooby. He's dead. The poor devil, he must have gone completely out of his mind. He's dead, she's mine, I'm in love, we're out of here. Good night. Hey, it looks like your in-laws are coming. Uh-oh. Ulanga! Ulanga! Hail Dorothy! The Wicked Witch Doctor is dead. And Dorothy. Looks even real, they're taking off. Okay, new rule. No white people. Must take hard line on this. No exceptions. Send memo. I told you this thing had an automatic pilot. <laughs> Where you get a look at that country, Greta? Mm. Colorado's the most beautiful state in the whole union. And that ranch I've got picked up. Alfalfa, wheat, Stymie, cows. Spanky. Hey, you aren't listening to a word I'm Green. saying. Uh -huh. Sounds great. What are you thinking about? Oh, just wondering how I'm gonna look in one of those hats. That huh? Hats? Hats! Hats! That caused a real big fright Someone was made a goddess and she happened to be white But then she was rescued and now she's in the States She's just your average housewife for cleaning up the place My, my, my white goddess Well, you can just tell them if they're not going to worship me I'm not going to join their PTA <laughs> Hi, honey. I'm home. Oh, how was work today? Boy, it's a jungle out there. <laughs> well, aren't you going to bow down and kiss my feet? Hey, you may be queen of the jungle, but I wear the khakis around here. <laughs> hey, what's this mess? Oh, it's our neighbor, that friend of yours. Bill? Did he go on another wild shooting spree? I'll say he did, and this time he went too far. He went and shot up my crock pot. I'm not going to be able to make dinner. Well, I told you he wasn't such a bad guy. <laughs> I wish that man would learn how to use the doorbell. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Cut that out. Oh. oh, now stop it, you two. Stop it. Would you settle down? Mr. and Mrs. Mabuto on, are on their way over here to play bridge. What? Where? Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, maybe it'll be three-card Monty now. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Mabuto, that we shot your husband. What were his last words? Mabuto, Mabuto, Mabuto. What did she say? Sounded like, Mubutu, Mubutu, Mubutu. Well, that's one native that's not going to be restless tonight. <laughs> Baby, you're a goddess. Mmm, oh. how sweet it is. Tom Servo. Art Crow. Sheila McGypsy. The Miami Beach audiences are the greatest audiences in the world! Good night, everybody! Ha 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 
<laughs> oh, that was funny, man. That's that was even funnier than an occasional wife, even CPO Sharky. Listen, you hockey puck. They've got letters to read. Uh, okay. Sure. Uh, I got them right here. I really appreciate you scientists faxing these up for us, but this one is from Margaret Bannister, okay? And show that on the still store, uh, Cambot. Oh, See that cute sweet. picture and everything? Yeah. Yeah. Dear Joel, I like your movies. You're really funny. I'm five years old. Really everything you want to know about people when they write. I think so. Crow is really funny and Thank Tom you. is too. Thank you. And I don't know that she must have forgot about you, Gypsy, but I'm sure she, she thinks would, you're funny too. I'm sure she would think you're funny too. And she sent us actually two pictures along with a photo. Put that one on uh, cool. camera. Yeah, it's really and then nice. we got this one too, which I really like. I thought it was kind of cool how she just drew it black where she didn't know what our body, <laughs> bottom of our bodies. <laughs> that's imagination for but you. But you see, there, oh, oops, there it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. It's my dressing Well, now. I guess that ends the experiment, sirs. I hope you oh, enjoyed oh, oh. the skits can I, and can stuff I, we Joel, did. can I say the address, please? Oh, yeah, I better do that. Send your letters, drawings, and whatever it's to the Mystery Science Theater Information Club, Post Office Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota. The zip code is 55343. Keep them coming. Right, and uh, I guess that ends the experiment, sir. Well, very nice, Clambake. Well, very nice, Clambake. Until next time, Jolly Rini. Until next time, Jolly Rini. Okay, Frank, push the button. Okay, Frank, push the button. What? What? Would you push the button? Can you push the button. Just push the button. Just push the button. Just push the button. Oh. Just push the button. Oh. Just push the button. Oh.